Gem Gems, what's up? What's up? What's up? It's your girl here, Miss Hawaii, coming at you to give you a general love reading for September 11th of 2021. Hope you guys are doing well. Hope your families are well, your loved ones, your pets, all that good stuff. And it's good to see you back here on Miss Hawaii Tobro. I know it's been a little minute, but I'm back. Yerk. All right. So welcome. If it's your first time here, welcome to all the newbies. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm happy spirit led you here. I'm a different type of reader. So if you are uptight and uh, you don't like realness or cursing, you ain't going to like it here. All right. But if you like the real, you're going to love it here. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? What I'm saying? What I'm saying? Of course you do. So welcome, welcome, welcome. Even to the people who've been here before. Welcome. I'm happy you guys came back. It's good to see you couple things before I start your reading. You guys, personal readings are 30% off. That is awesome. That's a huge discount too, 30% off. <laughs> That's a lot of money off. So if you're looking for a personal reading, you've been thinking about getting one with me for a while, email Readings at gmail.com. That is MissHawaiiReadings at gmail.com. I look forward to connecting with your energy. Personal readings do take one to two weeks to get you the reading back. If you need it expedited, you can pay an expedited fee and I'll get you the reading within 24 hours or by the next day. So that is Miss Hawaii Readings at gmail.com. I look forward to hearing from you guys. All right. Okay. Instagram. Follow me on Instagram. The Instagram name is Miss Hawaii Tarot on Instagram. That is Miss Hawaii Tarot on Instagram. Thank you to everybody that has followed me already. I appreciate that. Supporting the channel, supporting your girl, supporting the cause. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate that. It's Miss Hawaii Tarot on Instagram. There's also a link in the description box that will take you to the Miss Hawaii Tarot Facebook page. If you have Facebook, don't forget to like that page, please. I always post when I'm going live on there ahead of time. So you want to make sure you tune in. So like that Facebook page for me. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Miss Hawaii Tarot. I would greatly, greatly, greatly appreciate it. There's an extended reading link in the description box. If this reading resonates with you and the extended reading, I will pull your person's cards, see how they feel about you, see what actions they'll be taking moving forward towards you. And we'll also get advice for you from the universe. So if this reading resonates with you, you feel like it's speaking to your heart and your soul. I look forward to seeing you over on Vimeo for the extended reading. And the link is in the description box below for you once again. Okay. Thank you for all your donations. Thank you for your super chats, cash apps, Zelle, PayPal. Donation info is in the description box below. I appreciate that. And don't forget, if you're not a member yet, click that join button. You get access to reading. Private readings only for my members that you get access to, access through or to, whatever. Um, only by becoming a member. So click that join button, especially if you've been watching my readings for a while and you feel like they resonate. You should be a member and support your girl. Support this channel. Y'all know this is my nine to five. <laughs> okay. And don't forget, of course, to like, comment, and subscribe, share all that good stuff. Tell a friend. I would greatly, greatly appreciate that. Thank you guys for that. And don't forget, if you have time to subscribe to my other channel, which is Miss Hawaii's Scorpio. All right, the link is in the description box for you. Positive only, please. Don't leave no negative comments on here. If the reading don't resonate, just go on about your day, go on about your way. I don't need to know. I don't care. All right. So let's see what we got. I don't do readings for cross watchers. Even though I know cross watchers like to watch stuff, I do my readings for the whoever I'm doing a sign for. Okay, so sometimes cross watchers get a little upset. I'm sorry. Not really, because the reading ain't for you. Stop snooping. All right. <laughs> Let's go ahead and see what's going on with Jim and I in love. How you feeling, Jim? How you feeling, Jim? Bam. The world in reverse. A little incomplete. Mm -hmm. Could be somebody here you haven't completely closed out a cycle with yet. You still holding on to God's unchanging hands. The nine of cups in reverse. You are a bit discontent, though. But well, whatever's going on, I don't see you being happy. Hello? The star in reverse, you could be dealing with an Aquarius. Yeah, I see you losing hope in a situation though. Losing faith, being a bit discouraged here. Last card for you, we got the Knight of Wands in reverse. You could be dealing with a fire sign. 
a Aries, a Leo, or a Sagittarius. Your person ain't doing no justice. They ain't doing it right. You know what I mean? They ain't making it better. That's the in and out energy. Let's see your person. Four of Swords. Okay. Could be some quiet time right now between you and them. Four of Swords is usually somebody um taking a time out. Really trying to think things over here. The Nine of Wands. Okay. Those two almost popped out. Let's see what else we got. Two more cards for how this person feels about Gemini, please. Judgment. Oh, shit. Could be a Scorpio. One more card here for how this person feels about Gem. Very interesting. All their cards are upright. All yours are reversed. The Hierophant. Could be a Taurus you're dealing with. Let me straighten these. They're all crooked. All right, bottom of the deck, we got the Five of Pentacles. Loneliness, abandonment, feeling left out in the cold. All right. Let's clarify these and see what exactly is going on here, Jim Jim. What's going on, Jim? Let me put these right here. Fire. Fire, fire, fire. Fire, fire. Fire. All right, let's see. Mm, got some intention going on here. All right, show me the world in reverse. Kaylee's so funny, my cat, because she just watches people. She sits, I put the chair in front of like the deck doors for her so she can, with the blinds open, so she can just watch. And she literally sits in that chair and she watches the people go by, watches the people working out. She loves to watch people. She real nosy. She likes to see what's going on across the street. Show me the world in reverse. What is this? The Wheel of Fortune. Okay, my favorite card in the deck, as you guys know. Six of Swords in reverse. It's somebody you keep going back to. Don't look at me like that. You want this person to change or you want change for the better between you and them? Ace of Swords. King of Cups could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Somebody here you love, you got a lot of love for. That's why you can't quite close out the cycle with them. Um, but you're not happy. You want change. You've been thinking about it. Thinking, thinking, thinking. And you want change. You want things to pop off for the better. What's on the back? Ten of Pentacles in reverse, but there's some instability here. Show me the Nine of Cups in reverse. Justice could be a Libra. You just want fairness here. You just want balance. The Tower. Oof. Some of y'all dealing with an Aquarius. Similar cards. From to their reading today. Two of cups in reverse and the sun in reverse. Could be dealing with a Leo. Scorpio energy as well. Um, there could be a breakup here. Separation. Or you could be just feeling like you guys are apart a bit. Or something is tearing you guys apart. Or something could have happened here. You could have had a breakup. Because a tower can sure enough mean that. Um... Especially with the two of cups in reverse. Show me the justice card. The page of pentacles in reverse. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. This person is either not giving you enough attention or showing you loyalty or something. Show me the tower. They're distracted here. Something happened with communication. Something chaotic could have happened here. Two of cups in reverse, eight of cups. Somebody walked away. Somebody walked away here. Heavy water energy. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Hmm. Fuck happened here? Tower's here. So something went down. Show me the star in reverse.
the wheel of fortune again you really want some change here from this person nine of pentacles and the eight of swords he's really thinking about this a lot the moon is in reverse could have been some secrets here some things hidden from you here confusion show me the wheel of fortune what you want change about eight of cups oh with the tower popped out again wow some you walked away either you walked away or they walked away i'm getting a, a lot of you it's you guys gemini's you walked away because you want change something happened here with the tower card could have been something destructive something could have happened out of nowhere and you could have walked away here because you want change you want this person to change and they're not showing you they're not showing you change you're not initiating change show me the nine of pentacles this is you some of you guys are single right now ten of pentacles in reverse you want to be in a relationship you want to be with somebody the world again in reverse you haven't closed out a cycle yet with somebody some of you guys were actually married to this person show me the eight of swords Six of Cups in reverse. You keep thinking about the past here. But you went through a lot with this person. Nine of Wands. Went through a whole lot here. A lot of bad memories, though, with this person. It's like, it's like you're unable to let go of the past here. Show me the Knight of Wands in reverse. The nine of wands. Nine of swords in reverse. It's something you're not giving energy to it anymore. Because you went through enough. The ace of wands. With the chariot in reverse. Could be a cancer you're dealing with. So somebody here you did. Oh wow. Felt trapped for a little bit. You're reevaluating re the situation and you're thinking here that it caused too much stress, anxiety for you, worrying, sleepless nights for some of you. You want to be happy. Hmm. You're trying to find your direction here with the chariot. Let's see your person. Show me the four of swords. Four of swords. <laughs> the same card from another deck. Show me the four of swords. King of wands in reverse. Heavy fire energy for your person. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And the king of cups with the high priestess so some of y'all not talking to this person right now it could be some silence here your person thinking about things thinking about a lot i don't see them taking much action this person does love you though the death card is in reverse scorpio energy here with the king of cups and the death card so i don't see this person wanting to let you go i see there's been a rest period right now they're doing a lot of thinking a lot of thinking 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 Trying to figure things out here between you and them. They have a lot of love for you. Show me the four swords. High priestess again. Yeah, a lot of silence. This person is doing a lot of thinking intuitively. A lot of intuitive. Show me the king of wands in reverse. Seven of cups in reverse. Not making no choices yet. Trying to decide. Show me the king of cups. Page of Pentacles in reverse with the strength card in reverse. Could be a Leo. They love you, but they are distracted or something going on here. You both love each other. Show me the Nine of Wands. Ten of Pentacles in reverse. 
there's a problem with stability here with this person. Judgment card again. This is somebody that seemed like they want a second chance with you. Six of Pentacles in reverse. Unequal give and take with the Eight of Swords. So you both really thinking, 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 feeling trapped by this situation. Eight of Cups. Somebody here walked away. I'm not getting if both of y'all walked away. You both feel like you've been through a lot here. You were put through a lot here in this. Some of y'all something with family going on. Show me the judgment card. Hangman. They thought a lot about this, like, you know. That's one thing I say. Your person is looking at this from a different perspective, which is a good thing. I am seeing some growth. Three of Pentacles in reverse. Show me the hangman. Six of Cups in reverse. They're thinking about whatever has happened in the past between the two of you guys. Show me the Ace of Wands. Unable to let you go. The judgment card again. Yeah, this is somebody that want a second chance with you, boo. They want to get things started up again with you. Show me the Three of Pentacles in reverse. Eight of Wands in reverse. But I see you guys are not talking right now or something. Some of y'all, it's a third party situation going on with the Three of Pentacles in reverse. Show me the Hierophant. The Judgment card again. I'm telling you, this person, they trying to, they've been thinking a lot about Empress. Wow. Growth. Very attracted to you. Four wands. Yeah, this person got a soulmate bond with you. Hello? This somebody here that's trying to have a second chance with you. Yeah, the judgment card kept coming out for them. You kind of like, oh, I'm unhappy. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm discouraged here. I haven't closed out the cycle yet, but I love them. But And they're like, no, I'm ready. All their cards upright or yours are reversed. Strength card in reverse. Could be a Leo. Wow. Show me the judgment card. Your person is praying a lot too. I'm getting Queen of Wands. They're very attracted to you. And they're very um, driven here to try to make this work. Show me the Empress. Your person want to make this work. Nine of Wands. Yeah. Show me the Four of Wands. Yeah. Ten of Wands. Your person is willing to put in the work here. They feel burdened by this. Show me the strength card in reverse. The knight of wands in reverse though. Again. That could be you or that could be them. With the five of swords. Something going on here. High priestess. Intuitively. Y'all been connected intuitively. This person either intimidated or they're kind of just, they're um, fearful. Because the strength card in reverse with the knight of wands in reverse is like fear. Like what they scared of. Five of pentacles in reverse. They want change here between you and them. Wow. Wow, Jim. Your person fuck with you. I don't know what's going on with you. I don't know what's going on. Let me get three Kipper cards for this person and we're going to go into the extended. This is somebody that think about either marrying you, somebody that want to put in the work. I don't know what's going on. House. Yeah, somebody that's trying to build something strong with you. Mature man. Some of y'all, this is a mature man. Could be a man that's older than you that you deal with or you could be the mature man. Maybe you're older than this person. And in distant horizon. So some of y'all, it could be a long distance thing going on. Community is here. Could have been dealing with this person for a while with the distant horizons card. Community. Hmm. 
This is interesting. Okay. All right. So let's go into the extended now, Gemini. I'm going to pull your person's cards. We're going to get a little bit more deeper. Okay. See what's going on with them. See what actions they plan on taking moving forward towards you. And we'll also get advice for you from the universe. Okay. I hope this helped you guys some. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I love you guys. Thanks again for watching. And I will see you guys in the extended. Okay. The link is in the description box below. If not, thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys next time. Have a great weekend. All right. Take care.